it's a very special night tonight isn't it when we think about Jesus being born tomorrow when we celebrate that on Christmas day and tonight is the last night of getting ready so I'm going to read you a story called the night before Jesus and this is one of my favorite stories and it goes like this "'Twas the night before Jesus, when all through the earth, every creature was stirring for a new baby's birth. The people were looking straight up and then down, to the left, to the right, both in country and town. Some faces were watching far out in the sky, believing God's son would come, would soon be coming by. In Bethlehem, children were snug in their beds with dreams of olives and figs in their heads. Sheep had just baaed their last sleepy bleat and the shepherds were tired, weary and beat. When up in the air there arose such a clatter, the shepherds saw angels and asked, what's the matter? They jumped to their feet and stood straight and tall and saw thousands of angels and heard the angels call. It sounded like glory, looked bright as could be. It was hard to believe. It was so hard to see. When what to their wondering eyes did appear, but glory around them so loud and so near. It happened so sudden. It happened so quick. Was it real? Was it true? Was it a trick? More rapid than eagles, the shepherds then came, found Mary and Joseph and whispered his name. It's Jesus, Jehovah, Messiah, the Son. Emmanuel, the Lord, he's all and each one. They fell to their knees, way down on the ground. How good to receive him, the one they had found. The shepherds saw Jesus. They almost did cry, for Jesus, their saviour, had surely come by. So straight up there, hillside, their running feet flew, with their eyes full of Jesus, their hearts now like new. Far away, wise men stood on some roof. Searching the skies for biblical proof, night after night they hunted with care for a sign of God's love in some stars up there. There, each one shouted, out in the east. And they mounted with haste their two humped beasts. You see what they're riding? One wise man with gold had a little round tummy. The frankincense wise man smelled yummy, yum, yummy. The gift of rare myrrh had been packed in a can for Jesus would need it when he was a man. They were soon filled with questions from head down to toe. They asked, where's the new king? We truly must know. They traveled so long, they traveled so far and followed their hearts and came to the star. Each face of the wise man was grim for a while, then slowly each cheek returned to a smile. They saw that God gave his son to the earth. They took up God's gift, putting theirs on the earth. There was no more to do. There was no more to say. This was God's world and this was God's day. As the baby blinked slowly while turning his head, the wise men knew then they had nothing to dread. They spoke not a word as they headed for home. They were thankful to God that Christ Jesus had come. Christ was on earth and old was like new. Now people could see what God could do. When children hurt, And old men whistle where there are fir trees 
and dry prickly thistle. It's the night before Jesus from ground to the sky and Jesus, the brother, will surely come by. So we know and you know that God is in sight. Good morning to all and to all a good night. Good night, everybody. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you that it's the night before the day that we remember you came, Jesus, to be born among us, the Son of God, to be our Savior, to be our Lord, to be our friend, to bring God close to us. Lord, as we go to bed tonight, we pray that we would know your hand of peace on our lives, that we would sleep well and snugly in our beds. We would wake up excited about you and praising your name on Christmas Day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.